What up, everybody? Just don't cheat yourself, treat yourself. Uh, I ain't been on here in a couple of days. Been in my feelings. Uh, got a lot going on. This thing's lagging bad. Hopefully it fixes itself. Um, but I got a lot going on, man. Um, it's been a bad couple of days. I had my truck stolen the other day. Never had a vehicle stolen before. Um, I don't know. First time I ever talked to the police. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but... Um, I actually was honest with him, told him I had a warrant, and he didn't arrest me, which was pretty cool. Um, I never, you know what I mean, like I said, been in that situation. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah. I just want to uh, get on here and do what I normally do. Uh, just talk about some things. Uh, I don't really have a subject for today. Um, I'm trying to think, man. I guess... Uh, Living life on life's terms. We can talk about that. Uh, that's something I always seem to struggle with. Um, if my life's not going perfect, I'm not happy. But nothing's ever perfect. i got to understand that at the end of the day, um, I mean, people's going to do things that's going to upset us. Uh, we ain't always going to be happy. Um, the fact of the matter is, is learning how to deal with them problems. You know what I mean? Um, it's easy to push things to the side and not worry about it and try and bottle or like me bury your emotions um always covered up my emotions with drugs man it was like that was my outlet for my pain is just get high because i would numb myself and i wouldn't have to feel pain no more you know it was comfortable for me um it was easy it was easier for me just to just go get high than than actually deal with my emotions so a lot of the times like i put shit to the side like and i wouldn't deal with them and what that did was it just made me sicker because if I'm not dealing with my problems, I'm not fixing them. I'm living in the problem instead of living in the solution. And the fact of the matter is, is the only way to get into the solution is to live life on life's terms. You know what I'm saying? Do the next right thing for the next right reason, regardless of what it is. As long as you're doing something to better yourself in your recovery, that's all that matters, man. That's all you got to do. You know, for people that can't relate to recovery and you never did drugs and that wasn't a problem for you, relate it to life. Like, this everyday task, everyday, you know, trials and tribulations that we put ourselves through, like, as a people. You know what I mean? Um, it don't always have to be, like, when I speak about recovery or I speak about... Um, anything of that nature you know what i'm saying just know like the thing is is like it doesn't matter you know what i mean at the end of the day it doesn't matter you know what i'm saying it is what it is man and people's gonna hurt us you know what i'm saying we can't look to that we can't look and we can't try to make someone else make us happy you know what i'm saying if we look for happiness through another individual we're never gonna we're never gonna get it because it's not their job to make us happy can they add to our happiness yeah they probably can you know what I mean? But they can't make us happy. Only person that can make us happy is ourselves. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it's just emotions that we deal with, and we just don't know how to deal with them. You know what I mean? Like, for me, like, I didn't know how to deal with emotions. Like, it helped me to, like, this right here helps me. Me getting on here and making these videos helps me out. It allows me to process whatever it is I'm going through, and it also might be able to touch somebody else to help them through whatever it is they're going through. That's a blessing right there. That's how God works through me. You know what I'm saying? I'm just a vessel. I'm just here. You know what I mean? Um, me talking about these things makes everything easier. The more I talk about it, the easier it seems to get. You know what I mean? Regardless of what it is. It doesn't matter. Like, I mean, growing up, like, I didn't have it the best. Like, I lived two different lives, kind of, for real. Like, I had my mom's life when I lived with my mom, like a little street kid. And then I had my grandmother's life. Like, she took me in, like, when I was, like, 12. And I lived with her for a couple years. And I was spoiled. Um, I had everything I ever wanted. You know what I mean? She gave me whatever I wanted. She spoiled me. And I think she did that out of guilt, you know. She kind of parented out of guilt because, you know, she knew I didn't have that stuff growing up. Like, I didn't have everything I wanted. Now, my mom did do some things. Um, there was a few times, like, when my mom would sell her pills. She used to get prescription pain pills, and she would sell them. And there was times that, like, I did get things, you know what I mean, nice stuff. Um, but it wasn't all the time, you know. Um, I usually confide in, like, um, I didn't get a lot of attention from my mother growing up, you know. Um, she was always more attention drawn to my stepdads, whoever it may have been at the time. You know what I mean? And, like, she was on drugs herself. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, it it, it just, it was a it was a bad, like, cycle. You know what I mean? A vicious, bad cycle like that. Just, it just led to a lot of bad things, man. And, like, I'm blessed today, man, because, like, everything that I have got now, I've worked for to get it. Like, I busted my ass to get those things. I didn't have nothing handed to me no more. And that's a blessing. Like, that really drives me to keep doing better. 
You know what I mean? When I go out here and I get something on my own, it's like when you buy something, okay? Say if you, somebody else buys it for you, you don't take care of it. Well, I mean, if it's sentimental, but, like, if it's, like, a friend and they buy you something, like, you ain't going to take care of it as good as you are something that you purchased yourself. And I'm sorry I relate to materialistic things. I'm just a very materialistic person. I mean, obviously, look at me. I got a fucking $129 shirt on. Like, it's ridiculous. That's how I feel better about myself. Really, I'm insecure as fuck on the inside. And that's how I feel good. Like, I have to dress to the tee. I mean, look at this shit. I mean, everything has to match. Like, I literally put on a gray tee underneath this because I got gray boxers on. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had to do that because I had to match. You know what I'm saying? And it's this shit that I deal with on the inside. And it's like, oh, yeah, he's doing this, that, and third. At the end of the day, people that talk about that don't really know me. You know what I'm saying? Um, they don't get to know me. You know what I'm saying? So when you don't get to know somebody, you're not going to know enough about them. You know what I mean? And, like, you're just basically judging me from the outside. What's on the outside? Don't judge me for I went on the outside. Get to know me, man. Take a little time out the day to actually sit down and talk with me, man. You'd be surprised what you'd get out of it. You know what I mean? Um, another reason why I'm insecure that I talk about is it's right here. You know what I mean? I'll talk without him for a little bit. Uh, it helps me get uncomfortable in order to get comfortable. And why I'm doing this is, is because this really bothers me inside. Um, I feel like I look real stupid right now. I'm talking stupid. When I say S words, they like, you know what I mean? Like a snake. <laughs> um, the reason I'm doing this though is it's helping me get uncomfortable in order to become comfortable. What I'm doing is is I'm getting some humility to, in order to humble myself. Um, like man, this is hard, bro. Um, I don't know, man. <laughs> Just looking at myself right now is like, oh my god, bro, you're smacked. Smack right in the face, bubby. And how I do this is I deal with my emotions by being funny. That's how I. That's my outlet. Um, comedy. A lot of your comedians, you know, are, are, are depressed or, or they deal with mood swings. Um, there's some type of mental illness there. That's why they become comedians because it helps them outlet that. It helps them get out of themselves. They become uncomfortable in order to get comfortable. That's what I mean by that, man. Um, I'm not trying to jump around a whole lot. Um, let's keep life on life's terms. Um, what I'm saying by that is, man, I got to deal with life on life's terms. What I mean by that is, whatever it is that I'm going through in my life, I got to deal with it. You know, I got to hit this stuff head on. If I don't hit it head on, it's not going to be taken care of. If I don't take care of it, it's going to keep me sick. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, we're only as sick as our secrets. Um, you know what I mean? That's why I try to put myself out there as much as I can. Um, <laughs> I can't believe I'm finishing this whole video without my teeth. Um... But yeah, man, it's just, you gotta get some humility in order to humble yourself. Period, man. Um, I feel a lot better about myself today, man. I'm happy with who I am. Even though I don't like what I see, um, I'm still happy with who I am, regardless. You know what I mean? I like what I see when I got my teeth in, not when I have them out, you know what I mean? But that's me. This is the real me. I gotta get comfortable with that. You know, that them teeth add to my beauty inside, you know what I mean, um, when people actually take the time to get to know me, bro, it's, it's like, they all tell me, most of all of my friends was like, man, when I first met you, I didn't like you, bro, you was loud, obnoxious, and just, I'm an extrovert, so, like, I'm very, ah, in your face, and a lot of people don't like that, um, that bothers a lot of people, man, um, it is what it is, though, bro, this is my process and not yours, I'm gonna do it my way, not your way, um, I love N.A., and has been a big blessing in my life. It's helped me through a lot of things, man. And just, I don't know, just being humble. Like, I gotta, I gotta humble myself in order to make it in life. Because if I don't humble myself, I'm not gonna be happy. You know what I mean? So, like I said, sometimes you gotta get a little bit of humility in order to get out your shell and, uh, you know, be you. But, yeah, man, um, I'm gonna try and keep this one short and sweet. That way it gets watched more. I feel like when they're shorter, the people will watch them more. I'm not, I could be wrong. A lot of people tell me, why is it only 10 minutes? You should have kept going, man. You was doing so good. Hey, that's just me and my insecurities. That's my bad. I love y'all, though, man. I'm gonna keep coming at you with these things, man. Like I always say in my videos, man, don't cheat yourself. Treat yourself, man. Live life to the fullest and do what you gotta do to make it, man. You know what I mean? And, and life, man, is just... You know, smile's real contagious, man. Just, I challenge y'all today, man. Just go next to somebody, man. Feel real good and just give them a little smile, man. You never know, man. Smiles are contagious, dude. Just keep sharing the fucking the love, man. That's what it's all about, man. Like I said, get uncomfortable in order to get comfortable. Gain some humility in order to humble yourself, man.
telling you, dude, it works. It's working for me. But I love y'all, man. With that, I'm going to get off here, man. Like I always say, don't cheat yourself, treat yourself, man. I love y'all. Peace.